fancies are made strange, come with us and you will see. This is the hell of Halloween, this is Halloween, this is Halloween, come get straight in the dead of night. This is Halloween, everybody make a sing, trick or treat to the neighbors on a day. It's our town, everybody scream, it's the hell of Halloween. Halloween is a lifestyle, not a holiday, like harvest, which is very much part of the farming lifestyle. Harvest and Halloween are like right and left twigs. They have something in common, but are totally different. I'll be talking about how these things are very different, but still very close. I'll educate you on how Halloween is celebrated around the world, and some plants used around Halloween. He is planting to tell you about harvest and some statistical information. Let's carve right into this speech about the harvest holiday. I'll be telling you about how Halloween is celebrated in three different countries, the Ireland, Mexico, and the United States. In Ireland, it is celebrated very similar to the United States. Children dress up in costumes and go trick-or-treating. Parties are common among adults where they tie an apple to a string, then they tie the string to the door frame. People try to bite the apple, and the first one to bite the apple wins, according to AllDay.com. In Mexico, they celebrate a three-day holiday from October 31st, from October 31st to November 2nd, called El Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. They bring food and drink to the relatives, bring food and drink to the uh, ancestors' graves to celebrate their life. Uh, they also dress up as skeletons to scare away some evil spirits. In the United States, children, excluding Griffin Bab, dress up in costumes and go trick or treating. Costume parties are also common among adults. There comes a time once a year where farmers lose sleep, work hard all day and sometimes all night because they're harvesting their crops and they're trying to get them out before the snow flies. It's a very stressful time of year because there's a lot of costly breakdowns, it rains, there's a lot of delays. Some years you have to fight the snow. This is always my favorite time of year because I used to ride in the combine but now I get to drive tractors and you get to see how all the hard work you've been putting in since April is paying off. Some years the yields are great, you have chest tall beans and they make 90 bushels an acre and then some years there's a really bad drought and your beans are 10 inches tall and you get 11 bushels an acre. It all depends on what Mother Nature has in store for you. 9.5 million acres of corn are planted in Nebraska this year according to the Nebraska Corn Board. That's compared to 1.882 million people in Nebraska in 2014, according to the United States Census Bureau. One acre is comparable to a football field. If a farmer is lucky, he can harvest 80 acres a day, and the farmer I work for has a little over 2,000 acres. So if you divide that by 80 acres a day, you get 25 days. That's if the combine never stops and runs for 10 hours a day. But you have breakdowns, you have days where it rains, you have days where it's too tough to combine, and some years, snow. So all in all, it's probably 35 to 40 days to do. But some operations have 7,000 acres, they can run four combines, and I don't think I want that stress. So I'm gonna go trick-or-treating instead. I'm sure you're tired of me talking about corn and combines, so let's harvest this topic and move on. I'm sure many of you know that Halloween and harvest have more in common than the time of year they occur. They also involve plants, like the pumpkin. The pumpkin is used to make jack-o'-lanterns, which are, which are harvested in fall. First you harvest them, then you hollow out the insides and the seeds. Then you carve a face into the side, usually a scary looking one, and then you put a lit candle on the inside. Um, corn is also an inspiration, it, corn is common this time of year, which is the inspiration for candy corn. Hay is harvested in fall. Hay bales are used for decorations in people's yards, or they can be giving hay bale rides on the back of their trucks or whatever. Apples, like I said before, are used in parties in Ireland, but they're also used in parties in the United States where they go bobbing for apples. They may also use them to make caramel apples or candy apples, which are very tasty. Today, in this speech, we did our best to inform you on Halloween and Harvest. We really do hope you didn't fall asleep during this speech, but if you did, we really don't blame you because we probably would have too. If you were awake throughout the speech, you probably know our main points, but by speech law, I'm obligated to tell you them one last time. 
we wanted to tell you how people celebrate Halloween around the world, some of the plants people use to show their holidays, their holiday spirit. We wanted to tell you a little bit about what I knew about harvest and some amazing facts. Thank you for your precious time.